Hey everyone and welcome to Beyond Systems. My name is Egwin and today we'll do another drill regarding our squat, regarding our mobility in the legs and the hip joints mainly and also in our spine. We'll add some nice compressions here and work into the opening of areas. What this means, this compression and opening, is something that I'll explain throughout the video. Now, we will start in a deep squat like this and obviously the first thing we can do from here is just simply to bring our knees towards the ground like so. Today we are not going to do it on both sides at the same time, but we're going to open the body. So this is what the exercise, the foundation of the exercise looks like. One knee will go down and the other one will open to the side as much as possible. Note that I'm on the pole of my left foot here, so I'm swiveling on the pole of my left foot. The alignment between the foot and my thigh is something that is a fundamental here. So what I never want is my knee to turn out and my toes still pointing to the front. At least not right now, not in this exercise. So I'll always have my foot aligned with my thigh when I turn here. And then I'm opening up to the other side. An important thing that this exercise adds to just simply dropping to the front and to the back again is that we learn about our center of gravity in a more three-dimensional sense. So not only do we try to balance our center of gravity sort of on top of our toes in terms of a front-back balance, but we also, due to this opening, we get a sense of where exactly our hip joints are, how they rotate, and how this actually defines our center of gravity, the center of our pelvic ring and how we can position ourselves on top of that. So this is the first part of the exercise and back in. Make sure to always settle back in. If you do not yet have the ankle mobility to actually perform this exercise safely or not at all because you just can't get down into a deep squat put something underneath your heels to make sure that you can do the exercise at least in a slightly altered way. What's important here when we bring our right foot to our right knee rather to the ground, we open up with the left side simultaneously. So it's not that we start moving forward then drop the right knee and then open to the side. Right now what I want you to do, this could be a, an altered version, right now what I want you to do is to drop the right knee to the front and at the same time open up the hip to the left and then smooth back in. Left to the front and the right out and back in. As already mentioned, what's extremely important here, I really want you to feel the hip joints. Feel the movement in the hip joints. Obviously, it's a different movement in the left and the right hip. The right hip rather goes into an extension, whereas the left hip rather goes into an abduction and an outside rotation. So this is something where we move our hips in a different way, we utilize different muscles, but it really gives us this extreme nice tactile and sensomotoric feedback of where actually our hip joints are. And they are deep in here. So many people search the hip joints out here because here is where you feel this trochanter major bone, but in fact the hip joint itself is in here, so where the head of the femur actually hits the acetabulum from the hip, that's actually in here, so rather center. This exercise will give you an amazing feeling in this area. Another very important point, when we come to the front, when we open to the front like this, really make sure that there is an activation in the rear of your pelvis, just a slight one. I'm not talking about pushing yourself forward massively, but I'm talking about 
allowing the back of your pelvis to support a forward motion of your pelvis between your legs. That's just an intent. It's really important to understand we have many different options of intending this specific movement. One of the possible intents for this movement can be to simply try and push out of my hip and bring the knee to the ground and just allow for this opening as much as it likes. The other way is to actually intend my right knee downward and my left knee to the side. So now I'm much more working with the idea of actually being pulled open rather than pushing myself open. And then there is this additional possibility of coming out of this posture in this way that we intend the center of our pelvis, so where the symph uh, symphysis pulis is, and to allow this part to actually float out to the side. Now, in this last case, our intent is not in our knee joints, our intent is not in our hip joints, our intent is in a movement of the pelvic ring and the knees, the feet, the rest of the body, they just facilitate that movement. Play a little around with all of those things. They do completely different things in terms of coordination, in terms of muscle activation. And obviously, because of that, also in terms of which areas of our brain actually get activated. Because of all of this, there is also a major difference in how we ground ourselves into the movement in this specific case. When I talk about ground ourselves in the movement, wherever our intent works with a movement, that's where our intentional and organizational center of gravity, as I always call it, shifts towards. Now, when my intent is to push my foot to the front, or my knee in this case to the front, then this can only be triggered by muscles back here plus in my calves to actually facilitate this push forward. Um, however, if we shift our focus more towards this idea of I just want my pelvis to move to this or that area, then the body organizes itself more on a subconscious level around the intended shape we want at the end. When I say it organizes itself around a subconscious level, then this just sounds a little bit off. It sounds as if, well, we are not aware of what's happening. On the contrary, we are 100% aware of what's happening even in this quote-unquote subconscious state. But when you move like that, you allow for your awareness to sit in another place. And this place is to stay centered in your pelvis. Whoop, and to the other side. Rather than trying to follow specific directions. And that just gives it a completely different feeling and a completely different neurological activation. All right, have fun trying out this exercise. There will be a progression regarding this exercise in the very near future. Have a wonderful time. If you liked the video, please click like, share and subscribe and watch other videos like this on natural movement, on functional movement and on many, many other things on my channel. Have a wonderful time. Thanks for watching. Bye guys.